Yeah, Rose Vuitton, speaking of NOLA.com, here with the KDNs. Kevin Moore, about to be a senior, getting all kinds of college attention. He wanted to do our little catch up in the library, which I told you I was going to ask you about that because nobody's ever suggested, but let's meet and do a, a football interview in the library. But you said you kind of you go to libraries a little bit here and there. Um, you read a lot? Do you, do you got it? Likes to read like novels or anything in particular? What are you, are you just well, studying? Or? I mean, I come here to study. I come here to do my homework. I read sometimes. Yeah. You have a favorite book or nothing in particular? Uh, I think The Lightning Thief. Lightning Thief? I got you. Um, football wise, you, I mean, you've been getting attention from all kinds of schools for the last several months. You just went on a visit to Texas last week, which is something that that caught a lot of folks' attention. Texas is one of the more prominent football programs in the country. How did how did that visit go? How'd you feel about what you saw out there and and uh, having a chance to talk with some of those coaches? I mean, the visit it went great. You know, they showed us around. We had a tour of the facilities and everything. And, um, I had I had to talk with all the coaches, Coach Strong too. Uh, I mean, it, the visit went good. And you've I mean. Tulane has offered, but most of the Louisiana schools yeah, around sure. the state have offered. Um, what Kansas State, Texas Tech, um, and a bunch of schools. That, who have been some of the other schools that you've heard, kind of heard a lot from? Or have those been kind of the main the main group? Well, uh, Arizona State. Yeah. Um, Louisville. Cal. And Southern Miss. Are there any? Is there a group that's that stood out to you more than the others right now, or right now you're just kind of taking it all in, not not worrying about narrowing anything down until later on. You see, right now I'm I'm trying to narrow it down a little bit, um, but I'm not sure who who's in it right now. Yeah. Um, do you have any any other plans already set in terms of visits or camps you're trying to get to this summer, or that's still stuff that you're kind of figuring out too? Um, I don't I don't know if I'll be going to any more camps because all the camps that I wanted to go to, I went to. That was um, the TCU, UL Monroe. Um, I went to the Texas Tech camp and the UL camp. Enjoyed yourself at all those, pretty good relationships with all those schools. How have you uh, felt about what you've been able to to show some of those folks? Have you been pretty pleased with, with your performance at all these trips? Well, I mean, I, I always, you know, play good. But sometimes I feel like I could do better. What are... Uh, are there specific things that you're looking at going into senior year that that are kind of like focuses for improvement? Any certain aspects more than others where you're like, you know, what, I really want to focus on this or this to to get a little better, uh, a little bit better at this, or is it is it just kind of a little bit of everything? Well, I mean, not really. I, I really want to prepare myself for the next level, so I'm working on everything. I'm working on my speed. I'm working on my coverage. I'm working on how quick I read. What's been, uh, I guess, your best forty time? Oh, my best part time was a four or five. That's <laughs> pretty good. Um, are most of these schools looking at you more as like a linebacker, more as a safety, or it's kind of a mix? Most looking at me a linebacker, outside linebacker. Outside linebacker. Um, we talked going into the state championship game against Desterhan this year because uh, you had switched over from playing a big role defensively to taking over the reins at quarterback. And we talked about maybe some of the things that you had learned on defense that could help you be a better quarterback after helping lead the team to another state championship at quarterback, what did you kind of learn from the offensive side of the ball that, that now helps you defensively? Well, I mean, to be honest, it, it really don't help as much. It really don't. Uh, playing both sides of the ball, it really don't help, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, you know, we could say, uh, oh, we just run the Veer offense. All right, but that might be the reason why it don't help me. Um. What have you seen as your biggest strides uh, through the course of your high school career? If you, I mean, if you looked at yourself starting up freshman year versus now three years later, what have you seen as kind of your biggest areas of growth and things that have? I mean, are there things about your game that have kind of surprised oh, you? How far you've come? I, I became a student of the game. I understand the game more now. You coming into the library, studying playbook and stuff like that? You get a lot of the student of the game stuff done in the library. <laughs> nah, we honestly uh, we don't really have a playbook. We just play. <laughs> um, you uh, did you? I mean, did you grow up paying a lot of attention to college football? Is that always kind of a dream of yours, or did that kind of hit later on once you started getting into high school and stuff? Well, I mean, 
I don't know why I just, you know, I just skipped college football and I always thought about NFL. You know, I used to always watch the NFL until I got like, I want to say, seventh grade. Mm -hmm. I started noticing the difference. Now, in my opinion, I don't feel like the NFL is real football. I like college more. So, you know, ever since then I've been waiting for college football. Were there any colleges that really kind of caught your attention? I mean, were you a guy that you saw UL play and, and that kind of got you excited or LSU or, or seeing, I don't know, like USC or somebody on TV or anything? Were there any? No, so I just, you know, I don't really have a specific team. I just like watching great players. You know, I like watching, you know, if it's a good game, close game, I want to watch it. Um, you mentioned players. Have, have there been any players, whether it, be guys that were a little bit older than you at Acadiana, or guys that you saw play college or, or NFL that, that you kind of see some uh, some attributes in them that, that you try and kind of follow or just favorite linebackers or anything like that? Uh, yeah, one linebacker. He's at Texas A&M right now. Claude George. Yeah. I like him. That's my boy. What, um, what, do you, uh, what do you like about, I guess, about the way he plays or whatever that kind of stands out that, that you feel like makes him successful? Well, I mean, he's aggressive. He and he has a motor that never stops. I mean, that's all he does is make plays. You see, he played defensive end for us. It just moved him at linebacker in college. Having that success that Acadian has had of particularly guys, I mean, guys on the defensive side of the ball, you see standouts every year that are going to go play some big time college ball. How much has that, that helped y'all to just kind of continue that process to have seen guys go before you? Does, I mean, can you learn a lot from them before they graduate or, or even after they graduate? Or um, does it make it seem more realistic? Or are there any kind of benefits of having those those guys before you? Well, I mean, you know, I I ask for, uh, if I need it, I ask for advice. But it just really makes me want it more. Um, any other thoughts on where you stand in the recruitment process? Do you have, uh, you mentioned starting to kind of think about narrowing it down a little bit. Do you have a, a time frame in mind? Are you trying to figure something out by the beginning of the season, middle of the season? You want to wait until signing day? Or I was thinking about um, having a top by the end of June, but I don't think it's going to be yeah. possible. Yeah, still, still so, getting a lot of. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably just wait till the end of the summer, and if not, then who knows. There you go. Kevin Moore to Katie Anna getting ready for his, his senior football season, which is coming quickly. <laughs> um, Afrindola.com, the Tom Spick, you and Jared Roser.